This week I want to tell you about an exhibition that I've been involved in that's a part of the South Australian Living Arts Festival or Sala as some of you might know it. Kind of like the fringe but just for visual arts so you'll have everywhere turning into a visual arts exhibition. You have your public service buildings, you have random cafes, your streets and just about anywhere you can exhibit your work. The one I want to tell you about is called Every Day and it's in ArtPod which is just under Adelaide City Council in the centre of the city. The idea was conceived by curator Gabby Lane who's also the curator in residence at Karklu Youth Arts. It also features the work of Jasmine Crisp who's also an artist in residence at Karklu. She has quickly become one of my favourite visual artists in South Australia. She's a painter. You know what, let me just introduce her. This is Jasmine. And she's been working on this mural. It's only been a week, but look how much she's done already. And I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. But just learn. As somebody who knows nothing about painting, <laughs> I can just tell you that it, it looks amazing and that's what you want in the end. So for those of you who don't know, because I only learned what a curator was a couple of years ago, they're usually the mastermind behind the project. If it's for performing arts, it's the person who'll decide what goes where, who will perform when. I had to ask Gabby, what made you decide to be a curator? I never wanted to be an artist. I always wanted to be involved with artists. So I still feel like I'm a very creatively minded person but I didn't want to make my own things. I wanted to help other people bring out the best in their work, work collaboratively and have that kind of influence and relationship. So on the day that I wrote the poetry, I went to the space with Jasmine there. She was just starting her work with Gabby and we had a bit of a chat and I started to write. And then we decided that I could be in the mural. So I'm on this massive wall. Yeah, I need to take a selfie with that. Yeah, can we see your brush actually? Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's nice, guys. That's, that's nice. Smile. I like it. Where I was live painting at the site every single Thursday in front of the public behind a glass wall. And I'd never done a mural before. I had about like a week's notice. Uh, I had no practice. I was using paints that I hate using. <laughs> I wasn't even sure if I could do it or pull it off. But to say yes to everyone watching me, you come across so many different people, completely random people, you start wondering about who these people are or where they're going. Or... I wanted to pick a range of people and a sort of a range of scenes. So I had a scene on the bus um, with a person reading and a person just looking generally quite tired and over the day. I had a morning scene, I wanted to pick someone that I knew that had like a businessy, officey nine to five job with their coffee. Because the first time we visited ArtPod, it was like nine in the morning and it was raining and everyone that I saw walking around and through the corridor was a businessman in a suit clutching at his coffee with his umbrella covering him and I really wanted to capture that sort of almost like a religious experience with the coffee mm. in the morning. I had a night scene. So I had a friend who has a really fantastic, sort of culturally rich view of all the different places in town at night. You'll find him at something that's jazzy and then you'll find him at a metal gig. It was actually informed by the space that our pod is to actually respond to exactly what's outside of it. What Jasmine has depicted in the mural of the people that she sees, the you know familiar strangers that are also then brought up in your poetry work. People are saying so like this is um, a joint exhibition and the sound is by this woman here who did the text and she's writing in her notebook which was taken on the morning that you arrived and you were writing the speech for the piece. Yeah. So it makes it so beautifully connected. So my part was to create the poetry that would go on this window. And the audio is a poem that I wrote called Can We? It's one of my favorite poems. The music up there is a collaboration with the band Women, so that's playing in the background. And so you come here and then you read the poetry on the window and then you look at the mural on the wall behind it. And it's a really cool experience. Okay, so I'm gonna go through it really quickly. Forgiving ferociously, but cautiously, won't you forgive me? For I am bound to step on your toes, to let emotions flow and treat you terribly when overwhelmed with woes. And we 
both know how it goes We might have to dance slow Somber Clinging closely to memories of cool caress From those we let go Praying we let them know That we let love show shades of hope And not just shadows As the sky does beautiful things above the ocean We could dance toward the sunlight Toes wet with warm waves moving effortlessly And when we're heavy We can cry crystal tears to sweet songs Sung by bright birds on the Sorry Go ahead <laughs> Yeah it is <laughs> Yeah she did an amazing job So we just stepped out of the advertiser building in Adelaide and that's where one of Jasmine's pieces is, like a different one of Jasmine's pieces. And we're about to go down uh, Hindley Street because I saw some really lovely murals there and one of them was like from Kenya with love and I was like, yeah, we, we need to capture that. It's also been really cool getting people's messages or it might be photos and whatever. I got this message from my friend's mum. I was just passing by that passage along the city council and I thought, mm, that sounds a bit like Manal reading poetry. Then I stopped and listened and then I looked. I love artists and curators who can come up with stuff where it caters to so many different senses. I hope that you get a chance to go and see it. And if you don't, you can enjoy the visuals that I'm gonna put out here. But if you ever do come to Adelaide, no, stuff is happening, okay? Don't be out here dissing my city. I'm not okay with that. Support your local artists wherever you are and make sure that you continue to create wherever you are. And remember that your creations are, well, they're creations. And that in itself should tell you that they're pretty incredible things. If you didn't make them, they wouldn't exist. So, uh, bye. See you next week. <laughs> mm. But not complacent, forgiving ferociously But cautiously, won't you forgive me? For I am bound to step on your toes To let emotions flow and treat you terribly When overwhelmed with